Hello everybody and welcome back to Indeed. I'm Fedrin and this is Tower Climb by DaviAware. As you can see, Tower Climb is a procedurally generated platformer roguelike, an adventure on an epic scale where strategy, planning, and quick thinking will keep you alive. Uh, this is actually my first time loading up the game, so as usual, we'll see how this goes. So we're going to do a new game. This is the beta version 1.2. Only the first half of the game is available now and it's still in development, but from what I've seen of the game, I'm very interested. So left, right, and jump to select. Left, right, jump is... let us see. Jump is X. Okay. His palms grew sweaty. Chapter 1. So already, just with the introduction before the title of the game, it's actually got a lot of atmosphere going for it. It's very like kind of some of the older, um, older kind of adventure movies for me. Chapter one. I'm the little dude. This is me. I'm the little dude. One F ground floor. Benedict was the first man to ever climb this high. Oh, this is me. I'm a dude. What does this do? This is the jump. And this is my running key. Okay. Those look like spikes. Oh, I can climb up and I can slide down. Oh no no. <laughs> okay, I gotta hold up when I'm climbing. This is this is pretty intense. Oh, and I can hang off of the ceiling. Is this gonna kill me? No, this has not killed me. <laughs> yeah, with with pixels like this, you really, really don't know. Those are spikes. That's a bad thing. Can I climb up? Oh God, this is just terrifying because I have absolutely no clue what's going on. And at any moment, I could die. That's how I feel right now. Okay, let's jump up in here. Oh no! Spikes. I knew those spikes. I was revived. I have things. I have things that revive me, apparently. Oh, what is that? That doesn't look good! Get out of here! No, 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 no! Don't come near me! I don't know, I think it's a bat. I think it might be a bat. I'm not sure. But that is my educated guess. It seems to be a bat. Oh, maybe it's not a bat because those things... Can I attack things or, like, can I do something other than die? I don't know. I think I might- this might be a game of avoidance. I might not actually have any way to attack. That is a very large rat. And it is also, um, coming- coming for me. And I don't like that. <gasps> okay. So we're gonna continue to just kinda go up. That's what we're gonna do. Cause, uh, until proven otherwise, I feel completely defenseless and terrified as all hell. Okay. So, no clue what these things are. Um, maybe just like moss or fungus or something. Doesn't seem to be anything I can get out of them. Maybe... Oh! Something in the dark there. Something in the dark that looks bad. Let's just... Can we... Can I... Can I jump up and... I... Okay. Not very good at this, but... Let's see. Can I... Oh! Uh, no! This is not what I want to do. I want to climb up and do a, like a jumpy thing. But I'm not doing this jumpy thing very well. Let's go over here. Cause there's no rat right now. That's fine with me. Ooh, is that a chest or a crate? I like the look of that thing, the glimmering, shining thing. Now what do I do with it? Can I, what can I do to this thing? Can I have it? Is it my thing? Oh, I threw it don't really know how, but it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. Oh, I jumped on top of something. Oh, I can buy things. This isn't a bad guy. Revive pot, teleport jar, corrode pot, jump jar. Um, oh, okay, and that's what's in my inventory over there. So I already have some jump jars, some corrode pots, and a teleport jar. And I guess I had a revive pot, and it has been used up. I don't really think I have any money. Can I do something with this? Please? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, jump for quick restart. 
All right, and procedurally generated, meaning that it's completely different this time. And I am wearing a red shirt now. This is never good. Never good. Okay, I should probably climb up on the other walls because... Oh! See that? I just love that. That is intense. Climbing up on the underside there. Still don't even entirely know what I'm doing. Though that could be said for any game. I feel more confused with this game ow, than I have in a while. Confused but intrigued. It's incredibly compelling, this game. Even though I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and I'm dying. It's kind of like Dark Souls. This is how I feel. This is like Spelunky, Dark, Soil, Dark Souls, and Binding of Isaac had a baby. That's what this feels like to me because it's it's all about progressing and not dying in a strange and terrifying dungeon environment. Um, and you just, <laughs> you just die a lot. Those things look like things I can have. I want those things. That thing looks like a... Oh, yeah, what did I just jump onto? Is that a bad thing? Can I kill it? Like, what do I do? I don't even know. Okay. It's okay. Relax. So that was some sort of berry and I used it up getting myself injured, I think. But I don't know if I, like, where my health is or what's going on. I think this is the kind of game you should probably know a little bit more about before making any rash. Ow. Uh. Oh, so I jumped in midair, apparently. That was a thing I just did. I jumped in midair. What did that guy die on? Can I pick it up? How do I interact with things? That's what I would like to know. Oh no! Okay. I think I just injured myself, but I'm not sure. And I don't know how I'm supposed to get up in situations like this. I climb up. Then I climb over. Then I climb down? Then I- oh, dang. Okay, let's try jumping over here. This looks like a slightly easier way up, maybe? Maybe? We'll see. It's another- I think that's another berry I can probably get, but I don't know if I'll die trying to do it. And I need to remember to use- there is a running button. Ha ah! ha! Okay. I feel as if I can jump in midair. And I wasted it again. This is what I do. Okay. Let's just get up. Can I- um, I want to get on here, on this other area here. I want to jump. Please let me just- there we go. Okay, I used the shift button again. I used the jumping, the running. Okay, can I- oh! There, wasted it again. Uh, okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, I didn't die. It was close though. It was- it was almost a thing. I almost died. I don't think I can climb on this kind of square. I don't know. What is the difference with these squares? Nope, I, I can't climb on those squares. I know that now. Oh, jeez. Okay. I need to stop flailing. I need to stop trying to die. I need to get up there. I want to get up there. There's like a door and like a chest and like an anvil. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these things. Oh no! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. But I can't. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Terwin met death. I don't. I don't know how to best show off this game when I'm so bad at it. I guess I'm just going to reiterate what I said before. From what I understand of this game, and just from what I've played in these first few minutes of absolutely terrible play on my part is that it's very much like Spelunky or Binding of Isaac where you're trying to progress through a dungeon that gets progressively harder and more intense. There's lots of items and enemies you're going to encounter. They're basically all there to kill you, you know, and there's a few and far between kind of power-ups and upgrades that can help you on your journey. And uh, at the same time, it kind of has the difficulty and intense kind of repeated death 
that Dark Souls has. So if you are in any way interested by any of the words that just came out of my mouth, you should definitely check out Tower Climb. You can pre-order the beta now and get the first half of the game to play. And then when the final game is released, um, basically you're getting the game at a discount and then also being able to play it now. There is actually a Wikipedia for this game that seems to be pretty intense. A lot of um, very passionate people writing articles on there. I, I did take a small peek at it just to kind of get an idea of the game. So it's not like I'm walking into this blind. I really did want to kind of show this off better, but I mean, this is going to take hours of play for me to kind of get to a point where I think I would be satisfied to make a video on this. And I would really just love to show it off to you guys now. And from here, like I say, you can check out the, uh, the website below. And if not, I'm sure you can uh, find somebody on YouTube who's better at me than this game. But this is Tower Climb. I would definitely recommend it if you're into these kind of more hardcore roguelike-like platformers. Um, but it's a little bit out of my skill set for me right now. I'm still totally into this game. I, I'm probably going to try and play it a bit more. Um, but I am just terrible at it. So anyways, this is Fedrin. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next episode.